Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods. In the last episode, I asked you guys what you wanted me to do next, and you chose for me to grab everything and continue exploring. But before we go, there's something over this hill that I want to check out. While waiting for you guys to come back, I've been exploring this birch forest biome. There's actually a lot of gardens in this biome for me to break and collect food. Mushroom gardens, berry gardens, even spice gardens. But if you walk far enough, you come to this beautiful redwood forest biome. I'm excited to check this out with you guys before we grab everything and leave this place for good. So that's what we're doing to start this episode. But before we do that, of course, we have to deal with our food situation. You may have noticed that this looks a little bit different since the last time. I planted a little bit of wheat. I also planted some pumpkins over here. And I think I'm going to make my very first meal, which uh, doesn't involve vanilla foods and just eating berries that I find off the ground. I want to make stuffed eggplant. Have you guys ever had stuffed eggplant? I've had stuffed peppers before, and they are delicious. All you need for this stuffed eggplant is eggplant and garlic, which I have both of, and bakeware, which, nether brick or brick. So, I believe there's some clay down here. I just have to avoid all the deadly sea creatures to get it. All right, I think I'm ready to dive into this dangerous ocean for this clay. That was a close one. While we wait for those bricks to cook up, we can also make some mushroom stew. And I'm pretty sure you can combine a wide variety of mushrooms for mushroom stew. Oh, you can't shift click into the inventory. Of course not. Aha! One, two, three, and four. Four mushroom stews using a mushroom and a white mushroom. Of course, you can eat them by themselves as well, but we don't want to do that just yet. Do we have the eight brick? Not quite yet. Let's get the garlic ready. Oh, wait, do I have planted garlic? Let's leave one in case I don't have planted garlic. I'm pretty sure I have an eggplant in here somewhere. Parsnip, but down winter squash. Forgive me for not knowing what my crops look like. Brussels sprouts, okra. Okay, maybe we don't have an eggplant. I thought I planted. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're not going to use all the eggplants either. We'll leave one behind. Thank you very much. And let's make two, I guess, stuffed mushrooms. Um, or stuffed eggplants, sorry. I guess... I think you could just use the one bakeware. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think I have to, like, create new bakeware every single time. Ooh, there it is. And it's a, it's a meal. Like, that's a meal, guy. This is a snack. This is a meal. This is good. I think we're in good shape. Plus, if we find anything along the way... We can totally pick it up and eat it off the ground. Oh, here it is. This beautiful redwood forest biome. Oh, my gosh. Let's have our first meal of the day, by the way. Delicious. Um, let's see what we got in here. You know what else I could use is, unfortunately, some leather. I mean, you can also make backpacks from jute, but you have to find a fern and not the Minecraft ferns. You got to find different ferns like from I think it's probably Pam's Harvest Craft um, so yeah those are not easy to come by I don't think at least I I've never noticed them before whoa look at this beautiful tree are you kidding me this is like a giant birch tree it's hecker wood of course it is oh that's gorgeous I really like that these sheep here, by the way, they need to get sheared because I think I'm going to make a second bed and leave that bed behind so that I, if I die on my journey, I'll at least spawn back in a familiar place. Come here, sheep. I just need three of your wolves. Do you have friends? Let's take a quick look around this biome. The sun is setting, so that's a little bit dangerous, but we should be okay. Oh, what is this? Chestnut. Oh, none of these are ripe for the picking yet. Okay. That's unfortunate. Hmm. What other kind of trees are we going to find here? Maybe I should... Maybe I should make the bed now. I need wood, though. Let me just... Let me just punch this bush. Very cool biome, though, I have to admit. You, you really get a sense of, like, uh, the epicness of these trees when you're walking around here. 
believe this is. Yes, a leafy garden. Very a cabbage. And broccoli. I think I had broccoli before. I don't know if I even have artichokes. That's a nice find. I wonder if there's like different variety. There's some more. Oh, I thought that those were mushroom. Are they mushrooms? No, these are like a it's wild columbine. Okay, never heard of it. These trees are awesome. Imagine making a tree house up here, you know? What is this? Shrub. Good. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. There's an apple tree over there. That's kind of nice. These are green. This one is still not ready to pick. That is a shame. Ooh, what's this? Pears? Pears! Still not ready to pick. So we found interesting chestnuts, I believe, was the first thing we found. Apples, pear. Wait, there's something else here. Nutmeg. Oh, man. I feel like I should camp out in this forest just so that these... I don't know how long these fruits take to mature, though. I could be here a while. Maybe that's not a good idea. And then I think we've reached the end of the Redwood Forest here. There's some horses over there. Hi, little buddies. Oh, I got a saddle in episode one. I don't know what I did with it, unfortunately. So we still don't have a saddle. There's a nice gourd garden there. What are ooh, these bluish blocks? Look really, really cool. I have to go over there and find out what they are. Blue schist. Blue schist. Okay, got to keep that in mind. Oh! It's a duck! Oh, there's an even closer duck! Hello, little buddy. You're beautiful. I wish I could take you with me. I still got a long journey ahead of me, though. I don't think I have time for pets just yet. Um, if I follow... Oh, look at this little guy! Are the piranhas going to get him? I hope not. Those piranhas look mean. I have to cross this river to get back into this redwood forest. Let's do this quickly. Okay. All right. Everything is cool. Um, maybe we can find... Let me check the atlas real quick. Yeah. I think we've pretty much explored... This is the entire redwood forest here. We've pretty much explored the whole thing. Man, those fruit trees were tempting, though. Oof. This looks dangerous. Hi, spider. I was on my way back, and I almost fell right into this thing. Oh, this goes right into the mountain here, or the hill, the hillside. Let's be careful. There's some ores down there, but honestly, I already am going to have a hard time carrying back what I have in my chest, so there is no use in getting ores right now. I probably should make um, some armor. I have enough iron to maybe make Almost a full set of armor. Oh, it continues over here. Hi, little centipedes. You guys enjoying the rocky terrain there? Um, yeah, maybe some armor. I wish I could find some cows or at least some jute that come from ferns, I believe. I believe they come from ferns. I could be wrong about that. Which way are we go? Oh, we need to go around the corner here. What are these things that are kind of popping up off the ground? Horseweed. Is there anything... Just lime dye. Okay, we have no use for lime dyes just yet. I do want to eventually make a nice little cabin with a nice sprawling garden, a horse, some animals to keep me company. I think that'll be really, really nice. I think this will also be really, really nice to grab. Where are my shears? Keep getting some white wool just because you never know. I think you could probably turn it into a bunch of stuff here. There we go, a framed seat. Look at all this stuff you can make with white wool, or wool in general. Like, that's a lot of stuff. Of course, you can dye it. You guys remember him? From the first episode, I spent a night here and I stole all his books. I, I Again, I apologize for that sincerely, good sir. But anyway, I remember seeing cows over here, and as much as I hate to do this... There's a nice little cricket over there. Uh, as much as I hate to do that, we definitely need a backpack so that I can take my seeds with us when we leave. Four leather is not going to be enough for a backpack. I'm Yeah, we need eight. We need eight leather to make a backpack. A ten bound lung. I wonder if you can... Is there a recipe? Not for the jute, but for the leather itself? No, I don't think there is. No, you have to collect it from animals. So, oh, look, a little butterfly there, too. Beautiful. Um, We have four so far. That's not bad. I don't... Oh, there's more cows over there. That's good. All right. We are back home, and I've made the backpack. Very, very nice. I thank those cows for giving their lives for my... Uh, well-being. 
I filled it with all sorts of food. I was going to bring seeds, but you can turn each one of these things into seeds. So why not carry a tasty treat that you can then turn into seeds? We're going to hop in our boat now. Say goodbye to the hidey hole, the first one, I guess. And maybe we'll come back here one day and see uh, what has happened with the place. Probably not much. <laughs> Other than, oh, hold on a second. Are you? Yes, you are. Some fresh tomatoes. Let's add these to the collection here. Let's head southeast in a boat. You guys were begging, well, some of you anyway, were begging in the last episode for me to explore the ocean. I'm very, very worried about this. But let's do this. Hopefully these sharks can't get me through the, through the bottom of the boat. That would be bad. Been traveling for a decent distance. It's about, it's a little further than the hidey hole and the village that I found. But this nice little island here, it looks like a redwood forest, except it's not redwood. So I don't really know what it is. Also, I'm going to take this time to maybe set up camp here on the island. And, uh, oh, did I just break? I broke my boat. Guys, remember that? Do you remember the easy, what, what just? Oh, it's one of those. Oh, what are they called? I remember these fish. They got like the little glowy thing above their heads. I didn't know they were in this in this world. <laughs> they're kind of they're kind of creepy. Anyway, let's head in here. Ooh, hold on now. I do have did I bring the flax with me? I don't remember if I brought the flax. Yes, I do. So, string. You could do a lot of stuff with string in this uh in this world. And this flax here, if you get nine of them, I believe, you do get one string. So it's always worth it to grab flax when you can. This beautiful and peaceful biome, by the way, is a deciduous forest. It is getting very dark, though, so I need to set my spawn here, or at least sleep in the bed. Not necessarily set my spawn. Oh, I hear a sheep. I hear you, little sheep. Ooh, what is that? There's something in this deciduous forest. Oh, that looks like a mud brick. Mud brick house, possibly. We've got some latta leaves out front. An apiary. Oh, that is so cool. You got some gloriosa here growing on the side. Does anybody live here? Hello? Hello? There's nobody in here. There is honeycomb, which is nice. A bee grub. Asimus wood. Asimus wood. And an Asimus sapling. Oh, I got this cool little shelf. This is a potion shelf. Oh, and you got a straw bed. Okay. This is a nice little house, guys. I mean, maybe we hang out here. Make this place ours for an episode or two. Just... To explore the surroundings. Oh, there's another little beehive there. Um, this is good. This is a really pretty fort. Look at this little pond right here. The sun rises on a beautiful day. I spent yesterday actually working on the outside of the house here. I wanted I wanted to just clear things up a little bit. I hope the I hope the owner doesn't come back because this is gonna be quite a surprise when they come back and somebody else is living in in their home. Um so yeah, that's a thing. I cleared out this area here. Maybe if I stay here long enough, I might clear out a path over here to the water. Hello, sheep. What are you doing? 
just walking, huh? Just being you. Might clear out a path here to the water, but there is a pond behind, or kind of off to the to the right there, of this mud brick house. I'm calling it the mud brick house because of the roof here. It's a mud brick roof. This pond is absolutely beautiful. Watching the sunrise this morning, right behind this pond, was gorgeous. I really like this spot, guys. It might not be our permanent spot, but it is a contender already. Anyway, I need to make some food this morning. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some fruit salad. It should be a relatively simple process. Technically speaking, all we really have to do... Aha! A light meal. I will take that. And I will take this as well. I have six light meals now. That's kind of nice. How much does it fill up? Ooh! That's actually not a bad amount of food there. Okay, that's good. So we got four in our inventory. Let's make one more here. We'll, we'll take, oh yeah, blueberries. We'll take, you know what, maybe we'll make two more. We'll take two blueberries and one more of these guys. So we'll just go like this, like this, and no, not like that. Like this, and like that. That's one more, and then we'll do another one. Beautiful, okay. I think something just died outside my window. Did a bird fly into my window? That's a common occurrence out in the country. Don't ask me how I know, because it's a sad story. Anyway. Ooh, look at that. We've got, oh, a bee grub. We've got some honeycomb in here. The queen bee looks like she's just about depleted. I'm not exactly, I shouldn't say I'm not sure. I can't remember how this works, because I think I messed around with it before. But I think the queen bee has, like, a durability. And uh, it is not durable right now. Anyway, guys, right now, our mission is to go out and find ferns. Aha! Look at that. Because with ferns, I can make jute. It's a bit of a process here. But we have uh, we have a suitable area in this pond to actually get some jute going. So I'll show you how that's done in a second. But first, I've got to walk around here and get as many of these as I can. I collected 16 of them, and I think this cleared out area will be the perfect spot for it. I didn't clear it out with the intention of using it, but hey, this is not bad. Why do I have that grass? I don't want it. All right, so if I'm correct here, I don't want to use a whole lot of these bones because I do want to try to find a dog to accompany me on my journey. But if we turn these guys into the double ferns, okay, let's get them all double ferned up here. You watching? You learning something? And now if I just break them... Oh, yes. Look at that. The jute stock. This is good. Now, our, our mission isn't over just yet. Now we got to make the jute stock into bundled jute. Okay? We won't have too... Maybe I'll go out and search for more ferns because uh, we only end up with three bundled jutes. Now, what you do with the bundled jute would be kind of cool to just make a little pathway over here if this is my permanent residence, but it, chances are it probably won't be, but we'll see. Now, let's put these guys in the water here, and these guys will start redding, and once it's fully redded, that's when we can turn it in to jute fiber, and then four jute fiber makes burlap and then with the burlap we can make some more backpacks i intend on making many many backpacks because we're gonna we're gonna find a lot of stuff along the way that we're just gonna have to leave behind if we don't have the backpacks necessary i ended up making seven of these uh, bundled jutes i don't think it's necessary by the way to space them out like that i just do it because i don't know i'm kind of a weirdo these guys are fully redded. These guys are at 66%, both of them. It should be, oh, I think this one just changed. It did, fantastic. And this one should be changing soon. In the meantime, look at this, guys. We have 16 burlap there, 17 burlap. And then if we get some more, it should be enough to make two. Oh, well, actually, we already have enough to make two more backpacks. It's gonna be very, very handy on our adventure. Come on, finish redding there, jute. And there we go. Two more backpacks. We've got a little extra burlap and a little extra jute and a couple of four jute stocks to be exact. Only five bones left though. That's kind of a that's kind of a bummer. This one is backpack, so we'll rename this one um blocks. And we'll rename this one other. So we have other 
blocks and food. So that's good. That's a good start. Another thing you can do with backpacks, by the way, if you hold shift and B, you can put them in your backpack slot. We're not we're not going to do that just yet because there's no need for it right now. You can also ma make them uh, pick up blocks or items automatically and use this as sort of like a filter. So if I put like cobble here and there's a back, can I put cobble here? I can't. Maybe I have to have a backpack in here first. Aha. So if I put cobble in there, it'll just pick up all cobble and put it directly into the backpack automatically. So that's kind of a cool feature to have. Kind of a dreary evening. The perfect night to stay in and cook. I'm going to make some sausage today, okay? And the first thing we're going to need is a bucket of water, which means I have to dip in to my iron supplies even more. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. All right. That's a lot better. Whew, it is nasty out there. Now, in order to make salt, guys, check this out. We have to combine a pot and fresh water. The fresh water is obviously something I just went to get. Now, the pot, guess what? More iron. Oy. Oy. I might have to go caving in uh, the very near future. Is it just like this? Perfect. Now we have a pot. We have some water. We have some salt. Oh, and I have to get water for every little piece of salt made. I'm going to make five sausages, so I'm going to need five more buckets of water. Oh, boy. Okay. I got it. Five salt. Yeesh. This mud brick roof, though, leak proof. This is nice. All right, let's get five of the beef here. One, two, three, four, and five. This also opens up another slot in my food backpack, so that's kind of nice. So we need a raw beef, we need salt, and then we need this kind of stuff. Um, I think, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it just these three? I can't remember now. No, I think we need a cutting board, possibly. Can't quite remember. Is it bakeware, or it's probably a cutting board. Let's do the cutting board. Okay. Oh, can't shift click. Okay, we'll add some salt and then we'll add some ginger. <gasps> Sausage. Oh, baby. Five sausages and they are hearty light meals. So they're even better than the fruit salad that we've been eating this episode. Ooh, look how much that gives us. Oh, man, that is really good. And now that our bellies are full, it's time to go to sleep. In the morning, though, we explore the rest of this biome and hopefully find some cool stuff. It's a gorgeous morning and it's time to explore the area behind the cabin. Now something that I've already noticed is this nutmeg. I have a nutmeg tree right here. That's going to be nice. Nutmeg is uh, a, a thing. I don't think I've ever used or eaten nutmeg in my entire life. <laughs> I might be misremembering, but I don't think I have. Oh, turkey tail. This is new, actually. What can I use turkey tail for? Ah, mushroom powder. Okay. Same with the um, the other ones that I've been finding that look kind of similar. Here's a mushroom garden. Fantastic. I'll get some of those. I did bring the sausage and the fruit salad with me. I think that's going to be plenty for us, especially since we can buy stuff. Or not buy stuff. That'd be cool if you could buy stuff in forests. <laughs> you can find stuff along the way. This is an absolutely massive deciduous forest. Like it's huge. Look at the uh, look at the map here. Oh, hold on. What is this and this? Oh, we have to. Okay, let's go check that out real quick. I'm realizing now I never brought a bed with me, so that could be trouble. Stinkhorn sounds delicious. I can make mushroom powder. So this is another type of mushroom. Wow, lots of mushrooms around here. Hold on a second. What is that? Is that like a, uh, are they the lavender forests, I think? Ooh, getting a little laggy here, too, because it's loading up all this new terrain. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is a lavender fields biome, and it looks fantastic. I wonder if I can use lavender for anything other than dye. No, just dye. Okay. I was hoping for maybe a lavender scented candle. <laughs> oh, it looks like there might be 
Oh, that's a different biome right there too. Okay, is that the one on the map that's across the river? It looks like it is. <gasps> this is a mushroom biome? Whoa, hold on a second here. I wonder where this river goes to. Let me look at the map. The river might lead out into the, into the ocean. Okay, all right. You know what, guys? That is where I'm going to end the episode. Now it's up to you guys to decide where I go next. Should I spend the beginning of the next episode exploring this lavender fields biome? Or should I head into the unknown biome? Or head back and make that little house into a home? Huh? Three options. You guys decide. The link for the voting will be in the description and probably the top comment. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Please remember to click the subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you again. See you next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Bye-bye.